COVID-19 pandemic, how has it affected you? How has it made you feel? I was thinking about the community of Fir Vale and how we could show people that live there and also people that don't live there that it's a strong community and it's full of diverse people that are all working together and so I thought about bees because bees are also a community working together to build something. These hexagon balls are going to be painted rainbow colours and then alongside them are the bees which have been decorated by the people at Earl Marshall Youth Club and they're going to go alongside the hexagons and there's also going to be some hexagon flowers as well to go with it and they'll all be bolted onto the fence. We found a spot outside Earl Marshall Youth Club so that was a great a great spot because not only are we working with the kids there but it's also quite a public spot. I also live in Burn Greve, so it's been really nice to work alongside the local community. I think it was really nice how a lot of the words were positive and how they'd felt a lot of positive things living within their community and working together throughout the coronavirus pandemic. My piece is made up of six ceramic cogs. It's quite an industrial piece. The cogs represent positive and negative experiences that Darnell community have had in the pandemic. The worried, anxious, all the sort of stressed type words that um, you would expect, but there were some really nice um, positive reactions as well, like resilience come through and strength, community spirit and and family and stuff like that them sort of words were really quite nice to hear final pieces worked really well if you look closely you'll see something different every time there's like the little symbols for clap for carers and the zoom symbols that everybody's been using I've been able to really express myself how I would as an artist in my studio but using all that response and that conversation and that feedback that I've got from the communities and then putting it into my work so that's been absolutely brilliant. There's lots of responses, lots of emotions and how do I as an artist absorb all of that and then let it all come out. I wanted to come up with an abstract language to tell the story and capture the response. I was quite surprised that every single person said they would be interested in doing a creative response. And I was like, wow, because normally when I talk to them about art, <laughs> they're a bit like, oh, it's not for me, I don't do art. They had photocopies of the same digital images that I was using as my background. There's a picture frame and then different materials. They showed me on the Zoom some of the things they'd done. Some people had written things, some had done a poem or they'd done some like uh, creative writing. Some people had done a photograph of something they'd made. I think people have become more aware that how do they get their feelings out? How do they, how can they respond? And I think through making a piece of art, whatever that might be, that is a, ch a way of channeling how you feel. I really love the symbolic meaning behind butterflies, the uh, gracefulness and fragility, change, and I think that's quite poignant with a lot of people's experiences through lockdown. I've been asking people as I've been passing by whilst I've been painting what their one word would be to describe Sharrow and what it means to them. And then I'm going to spray paint them coming out as the fractals on the background. 
really happy that the weather's been on my side to get it finished. So I chose the word that was uh, repeated quite a lot. So we've got peace, home and unity. So I've got a lot of neighbours who've been coming out and keeping me warm with coffees and toasties and things like that. And general passers-by are really friendly and they're sort of like quite curious as what's been happening. They love the colours, they love that it's really cheerful. Art in general is, is important within a community. I think it pulls people together when they can't be together at the minute. It takes your mind off maybe the worries that, you, that you're going through at the minute and it's just nice to spend a bit of time just relaxing and doing some art. Creativity can help people. You want people to find something in them that's their creative outlet. A couple of the people have said to me, oh I know I've never been interested in art at all, have said they think they might carry on. I think that to me is like a brilliant achievement from this project. For me personally doing it now it's quite cathartic and sort of like healing process so I can get sort of like lost in the making of it and I guess when people are looking at the colours it gives them that little moment like a freedom or reflection or whatever it is that they might get from it. Well I think it's just a great opportunity for the communities to express how they're feeling and to have a voice and to also let other people hear that voice but also each other as well and work alongside each other as well to create something and to then see something with a finished result at the end that's impactful and represents them.